Hi there, it's Nicole for Lawn Fawn, and today I have a card showcasing the new Lawn Fawn Rainbow cardstock. I paired the cardstock with the Party Balloons dies as well as the new Stitched Rectangle Frames large die, and then some greetings from the Mom Plus Me stamp set and the Just For You stamp set. To start, I'm die cutting my frame from some of the Lawn Fawn Black Rainbow cardstock. And I did die cut some balloons from the black, but I ended up not using them. I had thought I might do like a shadowing technique, but I decided not to. And then I'm going to die cut that frame from white cardstock as well. And then I'm going to die cut the balloons a couple of different sizes. And I'm using the round balloon from the Party Balloons stamp set. And also die cutting the balloon strings from five different colors of this Lawn Fawn Rainbow cardstock. And I love that Lawn Fawn has released this cardstock. It's in their signature, signature bright colors. Um, it's just wonderful. It's a nice, smooth cardstock. It stamps on beautifully, and it creates some really fun die cut shapes. It'd be great for card bases. There's just tons and tons you can do with it. I'm using the round balloons, like I mentioned. There are also some kind of more oblong balloons, and they come in several sizes. I'm going to use the two largest sizes of the round balloons for my cards here today. You could definitely use any shape that you wanted to. This card is not screaming, it does, the greeting doesn't say birthday. You definitely could if you wanted to, but I just love balloon themed cards. And so I tried to find a way to incorporate different greetings where you could absolutely put happy birthday on the inside of the card. But in this instance, I'm gonna use different greetings on the outside of the card so that it could be used for anything. Maybe just, you know, congratulations, good for you, way to go. There's all kinds of things you could do. Once my balloons are die cut, I'm going to kind of fiddle with them a little bit and try to find the way that I want to lay them out on my white background. I only die cut one of the balloons in the large size, and then the rest are going to be in that kind of medium round size. Once I have them laid out the way I want them to look, I'm going to go ahead and take some distress inks and do tone on tone distressing to add a little bit of a um, ombre effect or a tone on tone effect so that it gives a little bit of dimension to the balloons. So for the blue balloon, I'm using Peacock Feathers Distress Ink and it's gonna, each one of these is gonna have the distress ink near the bottom of the balloon. That's where the ink's going to be dark. After I have done that balloon, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my next balloon and apply Distress Ink. However, I don't want any cross-contamination of the inks on the balloon, so I'm going to clean up the ink from my mat here and then move on to the green balloon and apply Mowed Lawn Distress Ink to my green balloon. As that ink dries, it will lighten just a tiny little bit. Again, I'm going to move that aside, clean up my mat with a little bit of water and a paper towel. It was handy, so that's what I used. Then for the yellow balloon, I'm using Mustard Seed Distress Ink. You could definitely leave this step out if you didn't want to uh, spend the time adding the Distress Ink to the balloons. You could also definitely maybe add a different color to the balloons and kind of get two-tone color balloons or something like that as well. The orange balloon is using the carved pumpkin distress ink. And then the red balloon is using the candied apple distress ink. I will go ahead and set those aside then for a second. Clean up my mat. Once I have that done, I can go ahead and start attaching the balloons to my white background. I purposely have not attached my rectangle or frame to my card base yet because part of the balloons is going to hang off the edge of the card. You can see there along the left side the red balloons hanging off, along the top the orange balloon is hanging off, 
my blue balloon will hang off the ed the right side edge and then the green balloon is going to hang off of the top as well to make this it's not a complete inlay style card but the frame and the center panel are going to be to make that so that the frame isn't bumpy along the edge, I will be trimming off any of that excess with some scissors before I attach it to my card base. Now before I add the balloon strings, I want to figure out just exactly where I want my greeting to go. I'm using a combination of greetings from the Mom Plus Me stamp set and the Just For You stamp set. and. I've laid them out kind of where I want them to go. I'm going to go ahead and attach a couple of balloon strings. I was anxious to see how they would the balloons would look with the balloon strings. I'm using the Zig glue pin to attach those and then just holding them down with an acrylic block until the glue dries. It only takes a couple minutes, if that. I'm going to go ahead and pick up my greeting with an acrylic block. I'm going to pick both greetings up together and stamp them as one. I'm using the Lawn Fawn Black Licorice ink. And I'm going to stamp that off on a scrap piece of paper just in case. Since I've not inked up either of those greetings before, I want to make sure I get a nice inked impression on my card. And there is my greeting that reads, Made Just For You, I Love You. Then I'll go ahead and continue to add the rest of my balloon strings. However, I don't want these balloon strings to go over the greeting. This is why I waited to attach these until after I had stamped the greeting. So I'm just going to attach a little part of it and then attach the rest of it below the greeting. That way it gives the illusion of the balloon string being kind of behind the greeting even though it isn't really, if that makes sense. I'll go ahead and add the rest of my balloon strings real quick. Only a couple of them are going to be going through or behind the stamped greeting. The rest will all be just the solid balloon strings. And then once I have those in place, I will snip off all of the excess with some scissors. Go ahead and do that with the balloons as well, not just the balloon strings. Clean up my work surface just a little bit as well. There's lots of little scraps of paper everywhere. Before I trim off those balloons, I did erase a couple of little lines that I saw. Then I like to flip over my panel and snip off any of that excess. And that makes the panel look nice and neat. Now I did smudge a little bit of ink from my finger from doing that distress ink on my white background. However, I knew I was going to be applying some sort of confetti or sequins or something. In this instance, I'm using the Pretty Pink Posh Mini Gold Star Confetti. So I just purposely used that area where I had the ink smudge to add a bigger group of confetti, if that makes sense. Then I'm going to take a Simon Says Stamp white side fold card base, adhere my black frame, and then adhere the inside panel. At this point, the card is pretty much done. I did take the Wink of Stella clear glitter brush pin and add a little bit of glitter to the little balloon highlights, those little white pieces there. And that will finish off this card design. Thanks for watching this video showcasing the Lawn Fawn Rainbow Card Stock. The supplies I've used are listed and linked below the video on YouTube. Here are a couple more Lawn Fawn videos you might be interested in. Please subscribe for weekly card making and stamping videos. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.